Hello, this is Scott Buchena, editor of telecoms.com here at NetworkX 2022, and I'm delighted to be speaking to Keith Nauman from DZS. So Keith, why don't you start by telling us what your main themes are at the show this year? Well, you know, DZS is very much an access uh, solutions provider. It's all about uh, broadband access, connecting customers, you know, from their homes or businesses to the network at, at greater and greater speeds. It's multi-gigabits today. Uh, we design the equipment that sits at the, uh, the aggregating site, the, the basically at the edge of the first mile, where the, where the first mile meets the middle mile, if you will, uh, and, and the fiber connectivity all the way to the home. And, and today it's all about providing gigabits worth of bandwidth, but that's, that's driving to higher and higher speeds in the future uh, with uh, applications that are consuming more and more bandwidth you know, inside the home, inside the business. And then you know, we also have a solution of uh, cloud, cloud native software that does the orchestration, uh, the SDN management and control, as well as the, uh, the in-home experience. You know, it's becoming so important to today's internet access that you as a subscriber, you, know, you have all these devices inside your home connected to the network. You want to make sure that they're always up, always connected, always working, that your TVs are running you know, clean, that there's no pixelization that you're, you know, as you're browsing the web, it's, it's rock solid and reliable, and as you're doing you know, business applications like uh, video conferencing, uh, that, that everything is, is running clean, low latency, you know, uh, and, and that's really our, our solution is all those pieces, you know, delivered for telcos typically, uh, but there's other types of broadband service providers you know, who are starting to build out fiber networks uh, just to meet the growing demand globally you know, for, for connectivity. And I, I know that you've made a, a sort of specific product announcement that has shown that and that there's, there seems to be some sort of novel technology in it. So perhaps you could just drill down a little bit about that announcement and some of the technology in it and why, why that's interesting. Yeah, so at this show we announced our V6, our Velocity V6 platform, and it really takes you to the next generation of uh, OLT aggregation type products, and it's, it's ready for not only today's network, you know, that's the XGS PON, 10 gigabit per subscriber. There, there are many uh, uh, solutions on the market today that can handle non-blocking, you know, aggregation at 10 gigabit per second kind of speeds. But as you think forward to the 50 gig pond that's coming and you think forward to the applications, uh, like the metaverse as, as a prime example, that are going to drive, you know, multiple gigabits worth of traffic into every subscriber's home and their real-time applications that require low latency, that puts, you know, a lot more demand on the access network. Now you need OLT platforms that can not only aggregate all the subscriber traffic, you know, from 50 gig pond connections, but carry it, you know, aggregate it and transport it and forward it upstream with no latency. And no latency really means, you know, no buffering, no queuing. It means non-blocking architecture. So there are not many solutions out there today. I mean, ours is one of the only ones that can, can offer non-blocking at the future bandwidth demands as 50 gig bond arrives. So that's really what we're, what we're all about, is making sure that we give operators the ability to deploy a solution today that's ready for the application requirements of tomorrow without a forklift upgrade. Okay, so yeah, there's a sort of future proofing that's uh, right. message there. And I guess just to finish off, if we take a little step back and look, I mean, you've you touched on it once or twice, but it's it's interesting looking at the broader context. I certainly know like within within Europe, it's there's, there's a current affairs angles because service providers um, uh, are talking about the amount of the bandwidth yeah. that they provide that's being used up by a few sort of typically streaming video, right? Yeah. And then you just alluded to the metaverse. I was recently writing about meta, yeah. their, their latest stuff. So perhaps you could just give us a, a bit of a sort of future looking. Why is it so important that people future proof? Uh, what kind of use cases are they anticipating? Well, I again, the metaverse is a prime example. And, and, and today, if you just look at today's networks with XGS Pond, there, there's a lot of Internet of Things and, and a lot of devices being connected to the to the network inside the home. But you know, the truth is, they're not consuming a lot of bandwidth. They're just talking to each other inside the home. But you know, lots of devices. Yeah, the things that are driving lots of bandwidth today, you know, over the top video, you know, because everyone wants bigger and bigger, you know, television screens on the on the wall in their living room. So they want 4K at a minimum, 8K video. That's going to continue to go up in terms of, uh, you know, how how high a definition is high enough as your TVs get larger. But that's still, that's really downstream bandwidth, right? It's not really bi-directional and it's not low latency. What's driving symmetric bandwidth in higher and higher quantities and low latency, things like virtual reality, augmented reality, you know, when you think about ultra high def, you know, which is 4K, virtual reality gaming, yeah. uh, you know, that, there's an application that can, you know, lots of people can, you know, lots of subscribers can want to do it concurrently and it drives a lot of concurrent bandwidth. But then when you, you advance it to the future with metaverse and imagine having this discussion and we were not sitting side by side 
but you know, we're, we're, our holograms are here yeah. you know, communicating and we're in a, a virtual 3D world. There you're talking you know, three to five gigabits per second and five milliseconds latency you know, for each connected subscriber. So it's going to drive the, the consumption up, up, up. And, and, and the metaverse is just you know, one example of an application. We can't predict you know, yeah. what other applications will Although there'll be more. So there will be more, yeah. that, that, that we know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's brilliant, thank you very much. Thank you.